In this video, you are going to see the battery drain test of Samsung Galaxy M34 5G. This mobile comes with a 6000 mAh battery capacity. Let's see how much it dropped after one hour of continuous mixed usage to calculate the overall time for 100%. Right now, the battery is at 100% and I'm using a single SIM card followed by connected to Wi-Fi. Not only these, I set the refresh rate to 120Hz at all times and the brightness level to 50%. I'm going to play a YouTube video for 10 minutes. Let's see after that how much the battery is dropped. According to my experience, this 6000 mAh battery lasts for more than a day. I'm guessing this and if it is true, this is a good thing. In the final part of this video, I calculate the overall time that this mobile lasts for 100% of the battery. So we can understand much better. While playing this YouTube video, I noticed that this mobile doesn't support 4K video playback maximum it is supported for 1080p coming to the display size this is a 6.5 inch super amoled panel with a screen to body ratio of 83.1 percent this screen is supported for 120 hertz refresh rate also this is a flat screen this panel goes up to a peak brightness of 1000 nits there are many things that i'm going to share about this mobile in this video but before that we cross with the 10 minutes mark of continuous video playback on youtube Let's see the battery percentage. It's 98%. Only 2% dropped after continuous 10 minutes of video playback at 50% brightness with Wi-Fi connected. Now I'm going to record a 4K video for 10 minutes. Let's see the battery percentage after that. This mobile is maximum supported for 4K 30 FPS. Now I'm recording in that only. This Samsung Galaxy M34 5G comes with an Exynos 1280 chipset. This is a 5 nanometer build chipset. I already did and posted the gaming review to check how this processor handles. You can check all the related video links in the description box. If you observe other mobiles from different brands in this price range, mostly none of them come with an AMOLED panel, but this mobile does. Oh yeah, I forget to tell you about the price. This one is available right now under 15,000 rupees. I think in future we can see the AMOLED panels below the 10,000 rupees range as well because the display is the main to use the mobile. After that, the processor comes into the picture. All right, we cross it 10 more minutes of recording the video. Let's check the battery percentage. It's 97% now. Only 1% dropped after 10 minutes of continuous video recording in indoor conditions. This is a surprise. Now I'm doing CPU throttling for 20 minutes. Let's check the battery status after that. Also, we will check how this mobile chipset performs under long term CPU usage for 100%. If the graph shows yellow, that means the CPU is under throttling. If it is red, it is over throttling. If it is in green, it's constant and performing stable. You can see here a lot of yellows are coming in between the greens. This means it is under throttling. So what it shows for us in real day usages is if we use CPU for high load task for longer time, like video rendering or graphic related, you notice performance drops. Actually, this chipset is good for normal tasks, not for heavy loaded things. This test shows that exactly. Now we completed the 20 minutes of CPU throttling. Coming to the battery, it's 91%. Up to now, the battery backup is pretty amazing. Now I'm going to use the Geekbench application on this mobile to check CPU and GPU scores. Also, you can see we crossed 40 minutes mark already. Let's see the results and the battery percentage after this. This battery drain test is for extreme usage guys. Maybe your usage pattern is different than this, which results in increase or decrease in the overall battery backup time. Also, one thing you need to note in terms of battery backup is there are so many factors affect the battery backup. It changes due to your ambient temperature, the apps you are using, the brightness level, background running applications and many more. These are the CPU scores of this mobile. Now I'm going to start the GPU test. When it comes to battery backup, you observe that it is not the same in every single smartphone and you notice the differences from person to person. So just watch these type of battery drain test videos as a reference, not a confirmation. I hope you understand. Here are the GPU results. Now we cross the one hour mark. After one hour, the battery is at 88%. 
If we calculate for one hour how much it dropped during the start of this test, the battery was at 100% and now it's 88%. If we subtract these two, we get 12. That means for one hour, it consumed 12% of the battery. If I do a simple math to check the overall screen on time that we get in this Samsung M34 mobile, this is how it is. I multiplied this 12 with the number that gives the value close to 100. It's 9. I mean 12 times 8 is equals to 96. Here 96 is the battery percentage and 8 is the time in hours. So overall from 1% to 100% you will get in between 8 to 9 hours of screen on time if you use it like this under these conditions. This is for continuous usage of mobile in these conditions. Also one more term you need to check on your mobile is the standby time. If your screen on time is more then the standby time decreases. If standby time is more then your screen on time decreases. Finally this Samsung Galaxy M34 5G gives 8 to 9 hours of screen on time for continuous usage like this and I'm impressed with the battery backup. So now we can say that this mobile battery lasts for more than a day. These are the other related videos of the Samsung Galaxy M34. You can click any of these videos to understand more about this mobile. If in case you want more videos, don't forget to check the description box. Also, don't forget to like this video to reach out to more people like you.